I'm gonna close my eyes, uh, otherwise I'm gonna be too scared. Oh. <laughs> made it to the most southern part of the United States, the Florida Keys, where the vibes are as laid back as the ocean waves. Join us as we discover some of the best key lime pie in Florida. We also check out the Creative Pines Brewing at the Florida Keys Brewery. And finally, we go on a daring adventure to feed the hungry tarpoon without losing our hands. Stick around and get a taste of some of the most iconic flavors of the Florida Keys. arrived to Key Largo here at Harry Harris Beach, right? It's our first stop of the day and we made it to this little beach slash park that has a quite some beautiful white sand. It's very quaint, very quiet, super quiet. It is a, a Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. You have a, a nice little bay where you can swim peacefully, no waves. No crocodiles. Hopefully. Uh, cute little spot. Our next spot is gonna keep going south. Hitting up the brewery and hopefully Robbie's to feed the fish. Our first stop is Key Largo and we're on a mission to find the ultimate key lime pie experience. What better place than the Blonde Giraffe voted best key lime pie multiple years in a row. As you step through the doors, you're hit with the aroma of freshly baked key lime pies. From tangy key lime cheesecakes to refreshing key lime tarts, the menu is packed full of treats guaranteed to satisfy any sweet tooth. The decor is as colorful as the Florida Keys themselves, and the patio has a zen oasis vibe where you can enjoy some key lime pie deliciousness. This is the chocolate covered key lime pie. It was cold. We both agree that it was pretty sweet. It will satisfy your sweet tooth. We got black iced coffee to level it out. I don't know. The like, iced coffee is really good. It's really good, but very sweet. And we got two different things and I feel like that's too much. They were each about $7. The iced coffee was about $4. It doesn't taste like ice cream. It tastes like chocolate covered pie, which is exactly what it is, with a very nice bite of crust, actually. There's more crust in there than on the actual slice. Wow, that's sweet. You might want to have some iced coffee or some milk with it. It's also supposed to be a very quiet zone, and you can hear the music playing in the background to provide like that zen environment. Next stop is the Florida Keys Brewery. Located in Isla Morada, this laid back brewery is a perfect stop for those seeking some good beer and chill vibes. We made it to Florida Keys Brewing Company and I have to say the ambiance is awesome. It feels like the island vibes are, are really happening here. They have a long list of beers all locally sourced. They have plenty of little picnic tables, the seating area is large, there's a decent size seating area inside and then they have a food truck here today there's tacos right next to where we're sitting they have a nice stage and they have live music here on weekends so that's great this is a dry hop sour it's not too sour it's got a nice balance and it's very refreshing on a hot day which you get you tend to get lots of here in the florida keys so give us a take on florida keys brewing co well, you can find pretty much anything you're looking for here. They have stouts, they have tangerine sours, they have brown ales, barrel age, Belgian triples, they have Irish red, they have lagers, they have blondes, they have colches, they have cream ales, anything you can possibly think of, they have it here. Variety is their strong suit. Uh, me on the other hand, you know, <laughs> we're from Southern California, kind of arguably the Mecca of beer, so, you know, the taste left a little bit to be desired, but still enjoyable. And I think if you come here, you'll be happy with one of their beers for sure. I love bur bourbon barrel aged beers. So I think that, I don't know how new this is, but it has so much potential to be like so good. I think that the, the Big Dick beer has so much potential. De decent. No one cares about the potential of a beer. I just want them to be successful. So come and try it for yourself. If you've tried it, 
let us know what you think about it down in the comments below. This beer has so much potential. It, it deserves a participation ribbon. Seriously. Mm. Could have been there, but... You get a certificate. Awarded. You get a certificate and you get a certificate. I will say they seem like they would accommodate large groups. If you're coming with a large group and maybe you're not a beer drinker, then they do have non-beer drinks. So they have cocktails. I saw that they have like that they have high noons and cocktails for you to enjoy as well. So they have something for everybody. And water. <laughs> Right. we just attempted a botanical garden and it was a no-go for me Dagny Johnson botanical garden we are here in April so I don't know how the weather affects the mosquitoes but it was mosquito galore as soon as I got out of the car they got me first of all I'm prone to mosquito bites so that's also on me it was just so bad I sprayed myself all over and they still got me on my neck so it was just unbearable. It was like Alfred Hitchcock's birds, except <laughs> they were mosquitoes and they were attacking us all over the place. You could just hear them buzzing by your ears. Yeah, that was a no-go. Not worth it. You do pay $2.50 for the entrance or for the parking. What do you think of the key so far, babe? Beautiful. I love the water. It looks turquoise and clean. Digging those island vibes for sure. Our last stop of the day was at Robbie's, located along the shores of Isla Morada. This happening hotspot is not just a restaurant, it's a gateway to Key West flavor and adventure. We're at Robbie's and we're gonna do some tar tarpoon feeding, but there's the birds that are looking very aggressive. Hey, coming up, trying to sneak a fish out of our bucket. <laughs> oh my god, they're sneaking the fish out of your bucket. So, yeah. So there's it's two fifty entrance per person plus five dollars a bucket that comes with five fishes. So it looks exhilarating. So let's go try it. I'm gonna close my eyes because okay. otherwise I'm gonna be too scared. <laughs> I felt it on my hand. Did you do it? I did, yes. Yeah, yeah, a little, yeah, a little scratch, but it was more like a nibble. It was kind of cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nick did some tarpoon feeding, cause I sure didn't. We grabbed a seat on the waterfront terrace and looked through their menu. Every dish is a tribute to the Keys culinary heritage. From fresh off the boat seafood to signature Key West classics like conch fritters and fish tacos, every bite was finger licking good. Mm. Good flavor. Not too chewy. I'm having the key lime colada. Mmm. It has like crust in there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Crumbs of the crust. Mmm, that's good. We got the mahi ahi sandwich with fries and the manhan chowder. A chowder with clams simmering in bacon, vegetables, and potatoes. Wow. That's good. Take a bite. How is it? 
very fresh, very lightly battered, not too greasy, and the fish tastes good. During our time in Key Largo, we stayed at the Emory Resort, which is maybe at the beginning of the entirety of the Keys, and we really enjoyed it. We got it through our Chase Bank credit card points. And we stayed in the, in the Abyss room, which was maybe the best one in the whole premises because it was like straight view of the ocean from here. Or is it, is it the ocean? No, the water. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Give us a tour. Look at this view. <laughs> this is my hammock where I take my naps after I get drunk. This is where I have breakfast out here. Yeah, this well, is where the magic happens before the real magic. In this room. In this here, right here where you make me breakfast. There's so many little areas for you to have a seat and just relax. There's also a pool. They have complimentary coffee and fruit. You have free bike rentals, kayak, paddle boards. The Florida Keys make the perfect escape to a paradise from Miami. We definitely recommend renting a car and exploring this side of town at your own pace. From the laid back island vibes to the ridiculously delicious key lime pie and gourmet seafood, this place has stolen our hearts faster than the seagulls stole our fish. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for future travel videos. Thanks for watching and catch on the road. We're at Florida Keys Brewing Company. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> they have a bourbon barrel gauge, which is called the Big D. <laughs> We're big patio guys. Big, enjoy your breakfast in the patio guys. Big freeloader guys. Give us all the free shit. What else you got? <laughs>